In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can mail merge some information from a Microsoft Access database straight into Microsoft Word. So essentially, a mail merge um, is usually bringing in information such as a customer address um, from the database or the Excel spreadsheet. So on the screen here, I've got my Word document, and just below the date here, I'm going to actually be inserting the address information. So the first thing I need to do is come up here to the ribbon and click on the mailings tab and then come along here to where it says start mail merge and we actually click on the button that says start mail merge and this gives us a few options and the one I'm going to take is letters and now what we have to do is we have to select the recipient so we click this button here and the options I've got is type new list, use existing list or select from Outlook contacts. Well, I'm going to use an existing list so I'm going to select that and at this point I have to locate my Access database. So here it is, select it and click open. I get this little box popping up which is actually showing me the tables and queries within that Access database and the one I'm looking for is customers here it is customers table so we'll click on that and then we'll click OK okay so now that we've made the connection between Microsoft Word and Microsoft Access we can now start um, adding our recipient list into the document so if you come up here to where it says start mail merge and now click on the edit, edit recipient list button now we actually can see what's in our customers table in the Microsoft Access database and this contains all our contacts now I can actually select the ones I want to see by clicking this box here next to each one so if I want to show them all I just tick them all or I can just remove ones that I don't particularly want to show by leaving the tick out and at this point I'm just going to click OK now these are some of the common fields that you're going to add here in this write and insert fields section. So I might want to add, a, add an address block here, so I'm going to click on address block. And now we can format it to how we want, so I could also actually switch through each one by clicking these little arrows. So I might want to put Josh Randall Jr. in that format or I could select Joshua on its own here or however I want to actually show the recipient I've got the choice here of formatting it any way I want and you've also got things like insert company name, insert postal address so at this point I'll click OK we can see I have my address block section there so if I just hit return, create some more space. Also got something called greeting line here, which I can select to actually insert a greeting. You can say dear or to. I'm going to leave it as dear and then click OK. So now I've also got a greeting line here as well. You might also want to insert the first name just after where it says dear here. So you could say something like dear John. Um, if you've got the first name in your data source you can do that so if I position the cursor here and I came up to the insert merge field button and I click that um, now I'd see the list of fields but I don't actually have first name on its own I have contact name but that's going to contain the surname so if you actually had first name on its own you could select that and it would put the first name in here so you could say dear John, dear Sue, dear Sam, whatever and then it would carry on with the letter. Now at this point you might actually want to preview the results. So all you have to do is come up here to this button that says preview results and click that and now you can actually see the data in the Word document. So now I've got the address here and just below it dear sir or madam. I also have this dear human resources here so I could actually remove that. I don't actually need that. 
so I'm just left with the following, Dear Sir or Madam. And now you could actually flick through the records by coming up here and just hitting these arrow keys, so you can flick back and forth. And as you can see, the address is actually coming into the document from Microsoft Access. And just to return to the design mode, just click on Preview Results again. And now we're back in design. So if you're happy with the um, format of the letter, all you have to do now is to complete the merge. And to do that, you just come up here and select Finish and Merge. And it gives you a few choices here. Um, edit individual documents, print documents, send email messages. And if you select print documents, it's going to set up a new print job for each letter. And if you've got a lot of letters, that may not be the best choice to take. So if you select Edit Individual Documents, and you say All at this point, what it's going to do is it's going to put each letter on a separate page. So now if I scroll through, you can see each letter is coming up on a separate page with, of course, the individual addresses. And at this point, we could actually make any changes we wanted to any of these letters. And then after that, you could just go ahead and come on to the File tab here. And then click on the Print button. And of course, you've got the Print button up here, number of copies you want, and just send it straight to the printer and you've also got a preview on the side here as well. So that's how we perform a mail merge in Microsoft Word 2010 with data from Microsoft Access.